Hi. Um, about eight months ago, I posted a video on how to fix performance issues or FPS issues with your R9 uh, T290 card or R9 T290X card. Um, and this is a kind of a video update how to fix um, blue screens and uh, freezing and uh, such. Uh, this also implies for any other R9 series cards, um, or I, I think it does, but... So anyhow, uh, you will need three different programs, or three things. You will need the drivers, of course, MSI Afterburner and Display Driver Uninstaller. Uh, you will find the AMD drivers, of course, on AMD's website. Uh, currently, the newest one is uh, the 14.9. Um, driver uh, and whatever is the newest one for you um, then download that one do not download the beta drivers because they might be uh, they're not as good as the the real deal so to say after that you want to go to a website called the guru 3d and install uh, display driver on installer um, the latest version which is right now 13.2 I will leave links in the description down below and then you want to scroll down uh, and you will find the the drivers here and the latest one is the first one down after that you want to go to MSI's the website and download MSI Afterburner uh, the newest version is the 4.0 version uh, and you want to download that as well um, after that, you are going to be in, uninstalling your your actual drivers or the drivers that you have installed in your computer. So you want to start off with pressing, going to Control Panel, uninstall a program, and then go down to wherever you have the AMD Catalyst here uh, in your on your list, and just uninstall that. I don't have it installed, so but I will show you later why and tell you why I I don't have it installed so anyway you just uninstall the AMD Catalyst um, and do not reboot instead then go into your the other program which is called the display driver uninstaller double click the exe press yes um, and I I don't need to um, I'm just gonna show you how the program looks like but it will tell you this that DDU has detected that you're not in safe mode um, you will want to press yes here so it will boot you into safe mode um, I won't because I've already done it so but this is how the program looks like what you want to do is to press um, AMD and also press remove all folders as well and then press clean and restart it will then um, clean your your um, your computer of all AMD folders and then boot you right into uh, regular Windows um, and then after this you will want to install your actual drivers so you will double click on your drivers press yes and uh, then you will be asked where to where the destination folder will be where it will extract everything um, you have to remember this so just um, put it somewhere that you will know where it is um, and then press install after this window after it has extracted everything it will ask, ask you if you want to install the AMD catalyst you will then press no or abort or just close it and press yes that you don't want to install it um, I won't do it because I've already done that. You will then want to go into control panel, uh, or <laughs> control panel again, and then press hardware and sound, and then go into device manager. Uh, from here, you will uh, go into display adapters, your graphics card, and then press driver, update driver, and browse my computer for driver software and uh, here as you can see here's the uh, the destination uh, where I where I extracted it, where I extracted my drivers uh, before you will want to go into browse and just find it I have it 
on uh, my local C drive, AMD, and um, just right there. Press OK, and um, it will show up here. And then press Include Subfolders, and you will want to press Next here. I won't do that because I've already installed them. So after you've done that, you want to reboot your, re restart your computer. And when you've restarted it, uh, go into MSI Afterburner, press Yes. And um, when you've started MSI Afterburner, press Settings. Um, and you want to press Force Constant Voltage. You have to check that. And then you want to press Disable ULPS both of those force constant voltage has to be checked and dis disable ULPS press then OK it will then see so you, you need to reboot your computer I have already rebooted it so it I won't I don't need to do that so that is pretty much everything you need to do um, I did that about three days ago and my computer hasn't crashed or done anything abnormal it has been been working so to say um, another thing that you might want to do is to disable hardware acceleration in uh, you know when you're watching videos or anything like that to uh, minimize the risk of it freezing or anything like that but that should be that should be it um, I hope that you found this video helpful and uh, if you have any questions or yeah, anything else you want to say please leave a comment um, leave a thumbs up if you liked it or if it helped um, and uh, thanks for watching